Welcome to class. Welcome to class. It's Word Up Wednesday. Where we believe whatever the mind can conceive, it can achieve. I'm Professor Miles, here to eradicate poverty of the mind, body, and soul. That's my goal. Today, I want to talk to you about relationships. It's about time we take control of our relationships and make sure that we're curating our relationships to be exactly what we need. But that requires us to be exactly who we need to be. Now, there's many different relationships we can have in the classroom, but the, the primary relationship, the most important relationship, the one that matters more than them all, I think you know the answer. Simple formula, right? Professor plus student, right? Overall, in the classroom. Classrooms are common denominator. An A plus. That's just what it is, right? That's that's what we're striving for. That's the goal, right? The semester is too young for us not to go for an A plus in every class. Participation plus performance, right? Equals. Best. Participation plus performance equals best. Who's our? Right? What happens when you add a professor plus a student overall in the classroom? It's required that both parties participate and perform to their best. Now, I'm talking to students. So, how do you participate at your best? I got you to perform your best. It's the prep and to execute. So if you're prepping, that means that you're going to attend, and you're going to engage, right? So engaging means you can teach this information to your peers and you can have casual combos about the information. The reason that's important, right, as far as understanding your performance, right, because in class, they want to ask you for this. Can you do it in a test? Can you do it in an essay? Yeah. Well, yes, I can, right? I'm gonna do it in the test and the essay because that's basically asking you to communicate that information. Tell me what you know, tell me what you've learned, tell me how you've turned this information into knowledge. You gotta prep in order to do that, to have that performance, to be able to execute on the other side of your success tree, of your performance tree. So you have to prepare. Prepare means one, you have to show up, attend class, show up. The subconscious mind rules about 90 to 95% of what we make as our decisions and what we know, what we take into our lives, into our understandings. So what you're seeing, what you're hearing every single day, every single minute that you're aware, as soon as you're unaware, right? You're actually taking in that information. So sit in class so that what the lecturer is saying, what the professor is saying can come and ring into your mind and then you can start making connections later on when you're prepping on your own because you're able to engage the material in your prep as you can teach it to others and have conversations about it. So that shows that you can really communicate the information in any format. So when they ask you to do it in an essay, you're like, bro, I've been talking about this all day. When they ask you to communicate that information in a test, you're like, I can teach the test. I've been practicing, I've been preparing, I got this. Now participation is a different beast. Right? It's, it's actually subjective, right? Like the test may have this is the answer I'm looking for, this is the answer you did or did not give. Participation. Uh, well, I like this type of participation. You might say something five times and it might not mean anything, right? You might say something once, it's extremely powerful. And that's our participation grade. It's subjective to every professor as far as what they want as a valuable contribution to the course. What can you do to participate? Can I ask questions? You're now going to ask questions. State something. If you're not going to ask questions, state something. So, what about your questions? They're coming from your notes. Do you remember what I said last week? Last week, 
I said, make sure that you have 10 points when you review your notes. I also want to tell you now, I have three questions. Three questions. If you understand everything that was on your notes in the lecture, then think about the next steps. Your lecture questions be about how this material and information will continue to advance within humanity. Ask questions about that. But if you, similar to me, you can read and review your notes and say, man, I think I missed something right here. The professor was talking too fast. I didn't get that. I need to figure out what that answer is. You have those questions. Now I ask you to go to your friends as you're teaching this information to and ask those questions to them. See if they have the answer. Right? Two minds are greater than one. Professor Sharp. I mean, some days I felt like the man loved me. Sometimes I felt like the man hated me. Really didn't understand. He came to me one day. He said, Miles, you're talking just to talk. Okay, so I can't say nothing. But I gotta say something. But I'm saying way too much. I just said, this is what I think. This is how I feel. In reference to this specific notation in the material. And I always made my comment relative to something directly in the text and correlated to what a professor or another student said and then released my statement. So that's three parts to my statement. It's the text. times lecture times me. And that was my sharp participation. And when I made sharp statements, because I'm sharply participating in my class, I came off as a sharp individual, a knife. When you want to get your knife sharp, I'm the knife you sharpen it with. Because my statement started to hit that powerful in class. I thought. I had an intent. Because I believe whatever the mind can conceive, we can achieve. I'm Professor Miles, and I'm here to take you the distance by eradicating poverty of the mind body and soul. That's my goal. Class dismissed.